will solve an application problem involving the circumference of a circle. The spray from a spinning lawn sprinkler covers a circle. The distance around the circle is 64 pi feet. So this is a sprinkler and this is the circle. We know the distance around the circle, which is called the circumference, is 64 pi feet. Let's go ahead and label this as C for circumference equals 64 pi feet. Next, we're asked what is the radius of the circle covered by the lawn sprinkler? And if you are standing 30 feet away from the sprinkler, will you get wet? Why or why not? Well, we can determine the radius of the circle by using the circumference formula because we know the circumference is equal to 64 pi feet. We'll use the circumference formula C equals two pi r because we are trying to determine the radius. And because we know the circumference is equal to 64 pi feet, we substitute 64 pi feet for C, giving us the equation 64 pi feet equals two pi r. And now we need to solve this equation for r. To solve the equation for r, we would divide both sides by two pi. Simplifying on the right side, two pi divided by two pi is equal to one. One times r is equal to r. Equals on the left side, pi divided by pi simplifies to one. And 64 divided by two is equal to 32. And therefore the radius is equal to 32 feet. The radius is the distance from the center to the circle, which should be this distance here. And now for the second part of the question, if you are standing 30 feet away from the sprinkler, which is located in the center of the circle, will you get wet, why or why not? So if you're 30 feet from the center of the circle where the sprinkler is, and the radius is 32 feet, notice how you might be here, which should be inside the circle, and therefore you would get wet. So we'll say you will get wet because if you are standing 30 feet from the center of a circle with a radius of 32 feet, you will be inside the circle. And of course, if you were inside the circle, we know you will get wet. I hope you found this helpful.